Hello and welcome to this episode of Packet Tracer. In this episode, we want to talk about the PDU information window in the simulation mode. So let's get started. Let me create a ping packet from PC0 to PC1 so that a ICMP packet is created and we can inspect the PDU information window. So as you can see, during a simulation, we can click on this packet and the PDU information window will appear for us. This PDU information window could possibly have three tabs for us. In this packet, we have two tabs, but if we go ahead in this packet, we still have two tabs. Now in this packet, I think we have three tabs and that this is the three possible tabs that we can have in, in PDU information window. The OSI model, the inbound PDU details and the outbound PDU details. Here in the OSI model tab, it is shown to us how this packet is processed at each layer of the OSI model by the device that this packet is currently located at. So this packet is currently at PC1 and it's showing us how this packet is being processed by PC1 in terms of OSI model. And this process is further separated by the directions of inbound and outbound directions. In the in-layer or incoming layers, it is shown to us how this packet is being processed by this device and we are meant to start reading the in-layers from bottom to top. And in the outbound layer, we can find out the process that this packet goes through when the device is sending this packet from one or its multiple ports. And we are meant to read the out layers from layer 7 to layer 1, from top to bottom. The inbound PDU detail tab is only applicable if this packet is being received on this device. And this tab shows us what is in the headers of the PDU of this packet and it has broken up the PDU into multiple headers of Ethernet and IP address and TCP and ICMP of course in this packet and other pertinent information. The outbound PDU details tab is only applicable if if the device has a packet to send. And it is also showing us similar information to the inbound PDU details, including the headers of different protocols, including Ethernet and IP and ICMP. And as you can notice, most of the time when a device receives a PDU and as a result it wants to send out a PDU, then both the outbound and the inbound tabs apply. But if we only have a device that is sending a packet, then only the outbound PDU detail tab is applicable. Or if a device is receiving a packet and there's no need to, to process and send a packet in response to this packet, this, then only the outbound PDU detail tab is applicable. Here in the PDU details window, we also have this challenge me part, which if I click this challenge me part, I will be quizzed on the process of encapsulation. And there are some questions and quizzes that I need to uh, complete for my understanding of encapsulation process. So let's try this out. So as you can see, I have been given a question. What is the device? Let's go to the hint and see if what hint Packet Tracer is trying to give us. Fast Ethernet receives the frame. That's it for this episode, everyone. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.